What's up guys, it's Cool Kid 246 and today I'm going to show you a really cool card trick that I like to call the Spell Your Card Trick. Okay, and yes, the pun was intended, but yeah, it's not even that funny. Anyway, uh, can jump right into it. You can have the spectator shuffle the cards as much as they want. Okay, they can give it a little shuffle like so. Put your I'm gonna put your shuffle it up as much as I want. And now what I'm gonna do is have my spectator pick any card. So let's say they pick this one right there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show the camera. I am not going to look. Got it? Alright. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split the deck into three piles. Just make them a bit more even there. There we go. Not my spectator put them in one of three piles. So they put it there. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start making piles of face-up cards as kind of a way of shuffling the deck. Okay. I'm gonna start making piles of cards. That should have shuffled up the deck a bit more. Now, I can tell from doing all that that your card was the Seven of Diamonds. Wait, it wasn't? Okay, well, what was it then? Say it was the Queen of Diamonds. Okay. Q U E E N. O F D I A M O N D S. Next card should be Queen of Diamonds. So that is the trick, guys. If you liked it, make sure to stick around for the tutorial. Okay, so this is a pretty simple trick. Um, not too much involved. There's uh, only like one or two secrets you need to do, and just a bit of setup. So I don't even know if you could call it setup. It's just so small. And that is that you need uh, to know the bottom card. So in my case, it was the Ace of uh, Clubs. We'll just use the Ace of Diamonds. In this case, you can have them shuffle it up and just catch a glance at the bottom card. So um, you can have them pick any card. Uh, it's really a free selection unless they pick the bottom card. If they do happen to do so, then just pick the next card but there is like a 1 in 52 chance that they will, so chances are they will not pick that card. So there they go, they can pick this one, and in this case it's gonna be the Ace of Diamonds. Okay, and then you're gonna make three piles, making sure to remember which pile that your key card was in on the bottom. Okay, so if they put it in this one, you're gonna pick up this pile, the one with your key card on the bottom, put it right there, and then the other one is gonna go somewhere. But if they put it on this one, you're going to do the same thing. Put that one on top of it. If they just happen to put it on this one, then you're going to give each one a cut. Okay? And that, now you've just gotten your key card close. So here we go. Um, then you're going to start making piles. And here's where the secret comes in. You're going to start making piles until you see your card. And then you're going to go to the next pile. And you know that's going to be their card. The next one. Once you see your key card, the next card will be their pile. card. And then you put more cards on top of it. And then you spell it in your head. A-C-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S. And then you keep doing it. Just to take this tutorial short. I'll put that there. And then here's the secret. When you pick up the cards, pick up the pile with their card on top of it. And then pick up their spelling pile. And then put the other cards on the bottom. Okay? And then you can do whatever you want. Um, you spell out A C E O F D I A M O N D S, and the next card will be the Ace of Diamonds. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, uh, please subscribe or hit that like button, and I will see you next time.